Good morning, everyone. Um, like Richard said, um, I'm going to talk to you about the, the objective of the trial was to develop a protocol for plums harvested uh, in bins with a focus on reducing the moisture loss and controlling shiver, uh, shrivel without the negative effects uh, such as decay. Um, this was done on Angelino plums that were harvested and packed in bins. Um, then we used two cold rooms. There was this, the standard without humidity control and a cold room with humidity control. Then we split the, the bins in um, bins that were drenched with fluid oxenol and bins that were, weren't. And all of the bins were smart fresh. Um, it was stored for six weeks at minus 0.5. Uh, the plums were, there was uh, <coughs> selected plums weighed before and after this bin storage um, and then after that bin storage um, we packed commercially and we stored it for another three weeks to simulate uh, uh, shipping and distribution um, and then after that another fruit weight and quality was done. Um, yeah, just to show you quickly, this is the after the bin storage, you could clearly see that um, the humidity control had a huge uh, effect on the, the mass loss in the fruit. There was a significant difference, as well as the sugar levels. There were a huge uh, um, uh, control of shrivel in, in the bins that were in the humidity controlled cold room. Um, so humidity control during prolonged storage uh, in bins is to reduce mass loss and shrivel significantly uh, compared to plums that were stored under the normal humidity cold rooms. Um, mass loss percentages uh, of fruit during cold storage was significantly higher with fruit drenched with fruit oxenol compared to um, uh, bins that weren't. Um, the reason for this is still unclear. Um, and, but if there is a high decay potential, the risk of decay is too high, then um, it is recommended to use a fungicide range. Um, so just a con quick conclusion. Um, humidity control during prolonged storage uh, of bins uh, is a crucial um, to uh, reduce mass, mass loss uh, of fruit via moisture loss. Um, and to reduce shrivel uh, levels. Um, DK levels occurred um, at low levels. It was uh, below um, 1% after the bin storage with no significant difference between the treatments. Uh, however, due to the very uh, dry season, the DK potential might have been very low um, and the risk of uh, poten uh, the potential might change in coming seasons with a wetter, wetter season. Um, and that's basically my trial that we did on the bin storage. Thank you very much.